Good evening, family. Today is Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. And I am back. And this one's going to piss some people off. But the people that it's focused, for, focused on, I don't care if you're pissed off. We got to make some changes. Okay. And if you're following me, you know that we're about positivity over here. We're about having a better life for us and our loved ones and anyone that we affiliate ourselves with and that we allow in our circle. We want to be a blessing to people that come in contact with us that are fortunate enough to be in our presence. That's the type of people I want on this channel. So, I was ear hustling, and for, your, for those of you who are not familiar with hood slang, ear hustling means eavesdropping, listening in on somebody else's conversation that I wasn't involved in, but to make it sound professional, we're going to say ear hustling, so everybody won't know what I'm talking about. But I was eavesdropping, right? Two young guys, was one of them was pissed off about his child support hit baby mama and uh he was talking about how man that bitch always calling me asking me for stuff want me to help with this help with that i pay my child support i pay 200 dollars a month and she still want me to do this that that, 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 that you know that he was pissed that he feel like he, he he that guy he a hell of a man because he paid $200 a month child support and he ain't behind. And that's, that makes him a man. That makes him a father. Here she come, that, that bitch. Always ask me for something else. Blah, blah, blah. I said, bitch, get out your child support. These hoes running around here using the child support money to buy a car, using the child support money to do this, to go to Miami, to do this, that, bruh. You said you pay $200 a month child support. She ain't going nowhere with that money. That ain't going to cover gas money to Miami, bro. But anyway, the mindset that you have to believe that $200 a month is enough for your child. Some of y'all might say, well, Big War, what if that's all he can afford? Well, if that's all he can afford, that's one thing. But if that's all you can afford, how do you have on a $200 plus pair of Jordans? Right now, I'm looking. I'm looking at the dude, dripped out as y'all call it. You know, so he dripped. A lot of these guys that I'm referring to in the video, they have plenty of money, but they selfish. They want it all for themselves. Guys riding around here, Mercedes, donks, car with rims on the candy paint, all the type shit, bitching about their child support. I'm talking about you guys. I'm not talking about the guy that's doing the best he can and the $200 money is all he can afford right now. I ain't talking about you. So don't you come for me. I ain't talking about you. Y'all know these guys that I'm talking about. The deadbeat baby daddies. A deadbeat ain't a guy that can't afford to pay more and wish he could. He out here trying his best to do better. That's not a deadbeat baby daddy. The deadbeat baby daddy is a dude who got a pocket full of fucking money and don't want to get his child on. He want to pay that little funk ass $200 a month that the court didn't order him to pay because they're going based off just his work income or what he got coming in. They, ain't, they don't have access to his side hustles and his grind and all the other stuff he doing. Cutting hair on the side, fixing cars. He paint cars. He do all types of shit to get money. That ain't documented, but he know he got it. The court just don't know he got it. I'm talking about that guy. That's a deadbeat baby father, baby daddy. Not you, young man, an older man who out here doing it. You trying, and the 200 is all you can afford right now. And you want to do better. You wish you had more to give. I'm not talking about you. You're not a deadbeat if 200 is all you got. That don't make you a deadbeat. 
I'm talking about a guy paying 200, complaining about it, and then I walk right in the mall and spend a thousand dollars on his outfit. That's a deadbeat. Only show up if his son is good at Park League football and think he's going to go in field. Then he'll show up for that. But other than that, that woman over there taking care of that baby by herself or with her new boo or whatever she might have if he helped. Then the so-called deadbeat baby daddy gonna wanna bump here with that dude so I don't want no nigga around my tears. I'm talking about you. You know who you are. See, what we're supposed to be doing is men. I'm talking to men. Men know just what I'm talking about. We're supposed to be providing a better life for our kids than we have for ourselves. That's supposed to be your goal as a man. Right now, my son, is living in a mansion. I, I, I call it a mansion, but it's a big ass house. Pool in the backyard, three car garage, all that shit. My son is doing better than me because of me and his mom. His mom, you know, me and her didn't get along to marriage and work or whatever, but I had sense enough to know I didn't pick trash. We just didn't work out, but she ain't trash. Don't procreate with trash fellas and you won't have that problem later on if the relationship don't work out so me and my son and mother didn't work out but i didn't pick trash so we have a wonderful co-parenting relationship ain't nothing else gonna happen co-parenting she's a wonderful mother she works with me we work together to make sure my son has a better life than i had that's what a man does if you didn't know now you know My son and mother, I told her when we went our separate ways in the divorce, I'm not on court-ordered child support. I asked her, do not put me on child support. I don't want to seem like white people are making me take care of my child. Give me a chance to do what I need to do for my child on my own first. And if you're not satisfied, the child support court ain't going nowhere. She agreed. We agreed. I ain't seen a child support court. My child is well taken care of on his on my own. I don't I ain't forced to do nothing. I have a base what I pay her in child support that she can't complain about for one child. She's more than happy. I pay a large amount of child support that I determined to pay because of what I make. And Christmas, holidays, birthdays, all that shit. She ain't she ain't calling me asking me for nothing. I'm taking it. It ain't for her. That's my boy. He's doing better than me. That what makes me a man. If you don't get that, you 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 following the wrong channel. If you got a problem with that, with what I'm saying, go follow Nino Brown or somebody. Well, now nah, Nino Brown a good dude. He ain't, he ain't with that bullshit either. Let me see who with that bull. I I can't really think about nobody right now. Whatever. There's some, some guys out here with that bullshit. That are condone and co-sign your bullshit, but it ain't me. I'm gonna give you the real over here. Two hundred dollars a month for for a child is not shit for child support. If that's all you can afford, I ain't talking about you. But I am gonna say if that's all you can afford, do better. Make if, if, if ways to make more money out here. That ain't enough, player. Go figure out a way to make more, so you can do more for your child. It ain't for her. If you think she gonna blow the money. You go to the mall and buy the clothes. You go to the mall and buy the shoes. You do it and give it to the child to go along with the two hundred dollars a month child support you're paying. Just your baby. Just your God-given responsibility. Do right by him. Damn, what she talking about? It, it ain't for her. Y'all be thinking. And yes, there are some women that get the child support and blow it. As I said earlier, you pick trash. That's your problem. Figure out a way around that. But make sure your child is taken care of by any means necessary. What's the problem? The problem is you're deadbeat. But 
If you're watching me and you continue to watch me, you ain't going to be a deadbeat for long. We're going to break up out of that this year. Your child come before you, player. Let me say that again. Your child comes before you, player. Your child comes before you and the hatred that you have for your baby mama, player. So let's get it done. No excuses. If you don't make enough to pay more than $200 a month child support, go make enough. Figure out something. That's what men do. We figure it out. We find solutions to problems. We don't sit around and bitch about the problem and let the problem stay there. Men solve problems. $200 a month child support is a problem in today's society. Figure it out. Go get more money so your baby going to be all right. Have a better life than you had. If you can't do that, you failed as a man. Sorry. It is what it is. You ain't got to like me. There's a, down there, the button that says subscribe, you can hit it again and say unsubscribe, and you hit it again, you'll be out of here. And you can also hit the notification thing to say don't recommend this channel anymore. You'll never have to see me again if you can't stand what I'm talking about. And I don't care if you, if you leave. It is what it is. Y'all know me by now. If you've been following me for a while, you know I don't give a fuck about the bullshit. So, get on your grind, fellas. $200 a month ain't enough for no child support, man. It ain't. What you gonna get with that? What your child gonna get with that? <sighs> we gotta do better, man. We can't bring these kids up in a world of poverty like that and breed more angry kids that are here killing killing, killing, they pissed off, angry, poor, hungry, whatever. We, Men, we drop the ball. Pick that son bitch back up and run it. And we just say, little boy, we're going to be playing, pick him up, run him. Pick the ball back up that you dropped and run that bitch for a touchdown. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.